30 aircraft carrying 360 soldiers lift into the air and disappear into the night. They fly low and fast, grouped in six formations. The mission is to secure a sensitive infrastructure complex deep in enemy territory. To get from the landing zone, they'll have to fly twice the length of New Jersey through a web of enemy air defense. Once at the landing zone, soldiers will travel on foot. The helicopters weave through tree lines, a valley, then over a riverbed. Too low to show up on radar and too fast for adversaries to even get off a shot. The last mile of flight is the most dangerous. The landing zone is surrounded by hostile forces. Pilots must maneuver the aircraft on the spot to land quickly and smoothly and then get out the second soldiers disembark. Speed, reach, and maneuverability are critical to mission success and to ensure everyone comes home. In this episode, we'll show you a new helicopter which will replace the UH-60 Blackhawk in the future. The Sikorsky and Boeing have rolled out the final specs of their new helicopter, one of two candidates that will replace the U.S. Army's iconic UH-60 Blackhawk, including highly modified special operations variants but could eventually replace other aircraft types across the U.S. military as well. Defiant X Helicopter The simplicity of X2 technology, though, allows us to get out there to speed. We showed that 230 knots, that's what the Army asked for, and we did that for you today in level flight. The Defiant X is Sikorsky Boeing's entry into the Army's future long-range assault aircraft, FLRAA program which aims to replace the Blackhawks that were introduced into Army service in the early 1980s. Although the UH-60 has been a reliable workhorse and regularly updated with new tech, the Army believes it's time for a new, clean-sheet aircraft that can take advantage of the last 40 years of aircraft research and development. The Army is expected to call for final submissions to its future long-range assault aircraft competition later this year and may award contracts in 2022, according to a Boeing statement. The competition is part of the Army's broader Future Vertical Lift Initiative to upgrade the Blackhawks, AH-64 Apache attack helicopters, and other aircraft, including the RQ-7 Shadow Drone. The Blackhawk currently comes armed with twin 7.62mm machine guns, while the Apache is generally outfitted with an M230 30mm cannon, Hydra 70 2.75 inch rockets, and Hellfire missiles. If the Defiant X is going to replace both the Blackhawk and the Apache, then it's going to need to pack a ton of firepower. Hell, it might even come out looking less like a submarine crossed with a helicopter and more like a flying torpedo bristling with weaponry. While it may look like an attack submarine had a baby with a Blackhawk, the Defiant X is, for all intents and purposes, a muscular troop carrier designed to insert U.S. forces into the most hostile of environments with increased speed and previously unseen versatility for a rotary wing aircraft. Defiant X is an outgrowth of the SB-1 Defiant Technology Demonstrator helicopter, which hit 238 miles per hour in tests and was reported to crush 288 miles per hour as its next milestone. Meanwhile, the most common version of the UH-60 Blackhawk, the UH-60M, has a cruise speed of 172 miles per hour. Sikorsky doesn't mention a top speed for Defiant X, but does say it will fly twice as fast as the Blackhawk. That implies a top speed of at least 340 miles per hour. Defiant X achieves this level of speed through the use of two sets of coaxial propellers. This arrangement stabilizes the aircraft while leaving the tail section, typically reserved for stabilizing tail rotor, open for other uses. The new helo uses the extra space to include a push propeller, giving it a second source of thrust. Defiant X also cuts a more streamlined form than the Blackhawk, retracting its landing gear in flight to eliminate parasitic drag. The new helicopter also features fly-by-wire controls. These turn the pilot's physical movements into electrical signals that are fed into the flight computer, which then interprets the movements into commands to the flight control surfaces. 
It helps to eliminate the cables and pulleys associated with traditional controls, which could be damaged by enemy fire and result in a loss of aircraft control. Sikorsky claims Defiant X also has a number of other features. The helicopter has a reduced thermal signature to keep it off enemy infrared sensors and reduce its vulnerability to shoulder-fired infrared guided missiles. A company image of the Defiant X carrying an underslung M777 towed howitzer hints at a greater lifting capability. The 9300-pound M777 is just out of the Blackhawk sling load capability. Finally, Sikorsky says the helicopter is much more agile than past helicopters, allowing it to fly low across forests and other uneven terrain, particularly the megacities the Army believes will become the battlefields of the future. Medium transport helicopters in the Defiant X's wake class are typically armed with a pair of door-mounted 7.62mm machine guns, giving them a limited self-escort capability. While Sikorsky's videos of Defiant X depict an unarmed aircraft, production versions will almost certainly include some form of armament. Remote weapon systems, similar to the Army's Crow's system for ground vehicles, are one option, offering greater accuracy and use at high speed. Unfortunately, these systems are heavy, at least for now, and would detract from Defiant X's lifting capability. The Defiant X will square off against the Bell V-280 Valor for the FLRAA contract in 2022, with Army Aviation units receiving their first aircraft by 2030.